Did you know Giannis Antetokounmpo has jokes for a second straight year at NBA Media Day? Giannis Antetokounmpo. Can you spell Giannis Antetokounmpo? I can spell Giannis, and then after that, I just write. Try, I usually me. go Giannis, tier two player, potential MVP. Uh, just for you fans who don't believe me. Just so you, you refuse wait. to spell it? A N T E T O U N K M P O. A N T E T O K O U N M P O. I got the first five. You did. Uh, here's Gold the star. joke from the 2017 media day. Let us know what you think. Good. You may. You better laugh. I got. You. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys see the new movie Constipation? No? no? Constipation. It's because he hasn't come out yet. Oh my god. He runs away. Edwin loves it. And then what about last year? This is back to back. 2016 Media Day, more jokes. Okay, uh, you guys take it easy on me. Uh, one, two, I have a, I have a joke. Okay. Uh, uh. Knock, knock. Obama. Obama who? Obama so. <laughs> no one laughed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no one laughed. <laughs> wow. Tough crowd. You want to know why, Giannis? Because they're local beat writers. Or they're horrible. <laughs> what do you mean? They're bad jokes. They're, can you imagine how they're just sitting in their chair? They're like, huh? What? What? <laughs> Quick. Oh, I, and then, whenever I hear Obama's name, I think of Hank Williams when he was on, I think, Fox. Obama. Like, Obama. Oh. <laughs> fucking dick. Obama. All right. Um, I see one more via SB. I see a few more, more via jokes. SB Nation. Uh, you guys take it easy on me because two months now I spent in Greece and I forgot how to speak English is what he said. And then he said, uh, oh, that was his joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh he got Zaza Pachulia bobblehead. As a joke? As a joke, yeah. <laughs> Giannis decided to give Zaza his bobblehead. That's nice. It's That's very, very nice of very nice. It's nice of him. Anything else? Any other jokes? Any other? Giannis made his way onto uh, Reddit AMA. Giannis entered the Kumpo and Zaza. Just watched you two talk about the bobblehead. So I have to ask if you two were to have a reality TV show, what would it be named? Giannis. Cat and dog fight. Oh my God! <laughs> wow. uh, here's the thing, Giannis did. Giannis, uh, awesome. He did. He did fall into one trap that uh, uh. I believe is one great way to keep keep your your core fan base in line. He okay. said he wants to play for the Bucks his whole life. He won't oh. leave the Bucks, just oh. like Damian Lillard said. The Blizzards, it's not at the Blizzards, the Blazers. <laughs> not that I disagree with what they're doing. I think anybody who sticks with the team for 20 years is remarkable. The Dirks and the Kobe's of the world, sure. You just don't know where you're going to be in five years. You don't know where you're going to be in ten years. And I would like to see Giannis lead the Bucks to glory. Fear the deer, 2017-2018 NBA Eastern Conference Finals runner-ups. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I, no, 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 I don't. No. I might not be though, because maybe I might not be kidding. Just, just yeah. contradicted. Yourself. Just maybe. There's uh, something so beautiful about this. They say that you fully understand the language when you're under able to make and understand jokes in it. Like you fully right. understand like the syntax and the the tendencies of the language and the idioms. This dude is just loving his new life here right. in the NBA. It is so beautiful just seeing him have a ball, like just joking and laughing, having a great time. And I mean, you know, if that's the life he loves and he's living a beautiful life, so what? Let him stay in Milwaukee the whole time, you know? Yeah, I think he's, he's, he's loving himself. They have the cheapest beer in the city. country in Milwaukee. Do they? Yeah. Also, uh, do you know what Giannis's brother's name is? This is not a joke. It's Giannis? Set up like, no, it's Theonis. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, but that's actually his name. Theonis Greyjoy they play, Antetokounmpo. They play in the uh, they play in for the for the Greece national team. You have Giannis and Theonis, both <laughs> Antetokounmpo. It's a lot of wingspan, man. Um, I'm sure um, uh, he's not a free agent until 2021. I'm sorry, 21, 22. I know, but I I hope that Oof. maybe if this all falls in line, I know, crazy pipe dream, but we'll throw it New out York there Knicks, anyway. Obviously, not just because you know I heard the daughter of Milwaukee Bucks owner wants to buy the Knicks, and maybe Giannis. Is interested to be like, wow, I just played for a great ownership group. I think I don't know enough about the Milwaukee Bucks ownership group to think that they're great. Who knows what they've done? Maybe good, maybe bad. Somebody explain to me uh, in the comments. Sure. 
It's hard not but to maybe he loved her. playing and going like, wow, I can go play for the, uh, the same family organization just in New York with Godzingus at that point, who's already become like a three time MVP. And the Knicks only still win 41 games a season and lose to the Pacers because they'll retool with Giannis. Oladipo. Giannis. It makes sense uh, that Oladipo is a Pacer though. He played for Indiana, didn't he? <laughs> Fuck yeah, he did. He did. He was a, All right. the definition of a project. Uh, real quick before we go, uh, Mallory Edens, you are welcome anytime on this show. Whenever you like. Who is that? The daughter of the, the Bucks owner's daughter. Also, whenever, the Bucks owner's welcome on this whenever, show. Whenever, no. Whenever, you, whenever you'd like to come on, Mallory, uh, we would love to shoot the shit and talk basketball with you. So open invite. Only if you buy the Knicks.